All right, guys, so we have done a little bit of intro with energy, and energy is the ability to do work. Work doesn't necessarily mean like work like homework. Work is the ability to make something move. Now, my question for you, because we always talk about energy and the different forms of energy in a very um, isolated sense, and what I want you to think about as you're listening to this is how does energy apply in the real world so I'm going to show you some stuff and I want you to think about what forms of energy are happening and does it stay in just one form it's gonna have to change energy transfers energy is not created it's not destroyed it just changes forms and you have the same amount that you start with than when you end with Okay, so take a look and listen really close to everything that you're going to be seeing here. Um, this is from the standpoint of flight because, well, I have a lot of resources for that. So we're going to take a look at that today. Okay, so listen close and think really hard. All right, so the plane that you're looking at um, in this picture right here, this is a C-130 Hercules. It's a cargo airplane. It's a, also called a turboprop meaning the engines are not a jet engine like what you see flying out of KCI. The engines are propeller driven. Um, you'll see those sticking up behind um, my med group people here. Anyway, so you'll see that. That's the airplane that we're going to take a look at closer. The next couple pictures that you're going to see are specifics about the turboprop engine itself and specific um, uh, information about the propeller. Okay. the uh, T-56 turboprop engine, um, basically it starts at the beginning and uh, in this area is a compressor unit and so we, in here, we are compressing air. By the time it gets to this section here, uh, the air is compressed and as air compresses, it gets up to about 600 degrees or so. Uh, and it comes through a diffuser where the air can then expand rapidly. And as it expands, we put fuel to it and give it a flame. And uh, this is where we cause the actual burn. And as we get the burn, we get the exhaust gas that comes out to the most cause these turbine blades here to spin. Uh, then in our engine, all this power is transferred back up through the center of the engine, through the shaft to the gearbox. And the, uh, the jet engine section is turning at uh, roughly 14,000 RPM. This gearbox here reduces it down to just over 1,000 RPMs per minute, revolutions per minute, which uh, gives us all the power to turn our propellers.